This is not normal. How are we going to get back to normal? Normality as it was before. Return to normal. It is a new normal. A new normal. 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 We do need to get back to normal, but what is that going to look like? The truth is, the normal that we're used to is still full of challenges. But today, with the world on pause, we are presented with an incredible opportunity to rethink what normal could look like. At an Actus Laurier, we dream of a better normal, one that is more sustainable and inclusive for everyone. And it all starts with this one plastic bottle. In July 2017, I entered an IDEO challenge and decided to focus on the plastic that holds the products we use to stay clean. As it turns out, 8.2 billion bottles of shampoo, conditioner, and body wash end up in North American landfills every single year. And to produce these plastic bottles, it requires massive amounts of oil, water, and energy, and emits high levels of CO2. And only 10% of the liquid product is the actual active ingredient that you're using. The other 90% is just wasted water. The resources used to produce these products last year in North America alone could have been used to power 4,500 homes, provide clean water for 44,000 people, and take 280,000 cars off the road. That is the cost of our plastic packaging. That is the dirty side of soap. Growing up, I always had a passion for environmental stewardship and met Marissa in a sustainability competition in second year. We discovered that only one in five people recycle their bathroom toiletries. The bottles that do make it to the blue bin are often still contaminated with leftover soap and therefore can't be recycled. They're sent to landfills or end up in our waterways. These bottles never fully degrade. They just break down into microplastics. In fact, reports show that we unknowingly consume 74,000 microplastic particles every year just because we eat fish, drink water, and breathe. This should not be normal. To create a better normal, we need solutions that are more sustainable for the planet and more inclusive for everyone. My whole life, I've witnessed the resilience of my talented brother in pursuit of his goals, despite assumptions people may hold about a disability that he has. I joined Enactus three years ago, inspired by the team's mission of reducing systemic barriers for individuals of diverse abilities. And this is where we met Khaled. Khaled is compassionate, hardworking, and his enthusiasm lights up any room he walks in. Khaled has a developmental disability, and like my brother and many others, the focus can often be on assumptions about what a person cannot do, rather than every person's unique abilities. In the Canadian labour force, as low as 31% of those with developmental disabilities are employed. This makes this group among the most excluded from our economy, and because of this, many individuals are financially dependent on others. Khaled is one of over 300,000 Canadians of diverse abilities who face unique challenges in pursuit of their lifelong goals. If there's one goal that I have in life, it's to leave the world a little better than I found it. I constantly find myself asking how things could be better for both the planet and its people. Now it's obvious that things need to be better for adults with developmental disabilities, but it's really impossible for any of us to truly understand what it would be like to face these challenges on a daily basis. To gain a greater understanding, we spoke with support workers, families, and adults of diverse abilities, and we found that there's a lack of inclusive work opportunities, and that both jobs and work environments are not designed in ways to allow individuals to excel. This should not be normal. To build a better normal, a more sustainable and inclusive normal, we launched EarthSuds. It's shampoo without the bottle. We recognize that the best way to reduce plastic waste is to not produce plastic at all. From experiments in my backyard to drying out hand soap in the oven, we quickly realized this was no easy task. Fast forward two years, many bad hair days, and over 200 iterations later, we finally reached our defining pivot to tablets. Earth Suds are single-use, dissolvable tablets of shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. They're packaged in recyclable boxes and reusable shower cases, 100% plastic-free. When you crush, add water, and lather, they work like liquid products, but steam or water alone won't dissolve the tablets. They're vegan, cruelty-free, and our customers love that they're made from high-quality ingredients, like argan oil and botanical extracts. I love them. I love them. I love everything about them. They're compact, they're easy to use, they're colorful, they smell good. Really, they make me happy. Easy to use, simple, and you just can't get anything else like this. Earth Suds will change what you believe hair and body care should look like, uh, and it won't, certainly won't change how your hair and skin feels. 
if you're used to a premium experience. As the only product of its kind, we filed a full utility patent on our unique water-resistant yet fast-dissolving formula. And Ursus was recognized by National Geographic as one of the top 10 innovations in the world for solving our ocean's plastic crisis. And we're featured in this month's issue of National Geographic. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Recycle is the worst option. Second best is reuse and then reduce is the best. Your model basically reduces the need for plastic. So the first thing that appealed to me about the Earthsuds innovation was to say, what if we just didn't have a bottle? It starts with materials innovation, but also a sensible approach to achieving that commercial viability. We had an innovative product that solves a massive global problem. But one key question remained, who was going to produce these tablets? We realized there was an opportunity to provide meaningful employment to individuals of diverse abilities whose unique skill sets would help our business thrive. We worked with experts in special education and an occupational therapist to design a supported employment program. Our program uses a person-centered approach, working with employees to build up both independence in the role and transferable skills for future work opportunities, and has been recognized by Developmental Services Ontario. In April of last year, we hired our very first two production employees, Gord and Stella. And this year, we hired Drew, Khaled, Beth, Sam, Zarbian, and Freya. The impact this employment has had on our employees is difficult to put into words, so we thought we'd let them tell you about it themselves. It feels pretty good to be able to do it by myself and understand a bit more. How did it feel to have a paycheck coming in? Oh, it felt really great. Yeah. I learned how to save. I learned a lot of important skills and how to focus and pay more attention. I started to show a lot more I had a lot of fun making soaps and learning a lot of entrepreneurial business. It made me feel like I'm a very hardworking person and that I accomplished getting a job at Royer and that I was getting experience in a manufacturing type job. I, I did pretty good at being able to save them the money that I earned. First step makes me proud because I get to help the environment and make the soaps. With our employees' help, we launched our consumer line just seven months ago, and since then have sold to over a thousand customers, bringing in over $40,000 in revenue. We currently sell through two main channels, direct to consumer through our e-commerce store, and indirectly through 55 retailers across North America, including major players in the sustainability space, such as Wall.ca and Terra20. We sell packs of 30 tablets for $18 each, providing us with an average 78% gross margin. Halfway through the month of March, we were on track to triple our sales every month. And then life changed pretty quickly. Schools and retail stores closed, events were canceled, and business became anything but usual. And like every person in the world right now, we were left in a state of uncertainty over when things would get back to normal. But we saw this as an opportunity to create more positive impact. So we doubled down on our e-commerce channel and developed a powder hand soap to address the global shortage. As an essential business producing hygiene products, we secured a new facility and started up production again albeit in smaller shifts and ensuring proper physical distancing. We also launched a buy one, give one campaign to empower customers, and as a result, have donated 4,700 Ursuds tablets to youth shelters and food banks in need. This year, we spread the Ursuds story to 8.7 million people through news articles, Facebook ads, Instagram influencers, and we were featured on breakfast television. We raised $100,000 in non-equity funding and were accepted into some of the most prestigious accelerators in the country. Between our sales and funding, we brought in over $140,000 this year. We sold over 70,000 tablets, which has allowed us to prevent over 16,000 bottles from ever needing to be created. And next year, that number will grow to 113,000 bottles, allowing us to prevent 2,300 litres of oil from being extracted from the ground, 233,000 litres of water from being wasted and 16,000 pounds of CO2 from entering our ecosystems. We employed eight hardworking individuals and measured a 77% improvement in their workplace skills. And this coming year, we plan to hire 24 more individuals of diverse abilities to join the Ursuds team. In the next 12 months, we're on track to generate $279,000 in revenue. But it's not just about the sales growth. It's about the potential global impact that Ursuds could have. We've already had retailers and distributors reach out from countries like China, Australia, Costa Rica, and France. And the channel opportunities are endless. Pretty soon, you could see Ursa's at your nearest spa, campsite, or hotel. What started as an idea to create shampoo without the bottle has evolved into a movement to provide equal employment opportunities for all 
and eliminate billions of plastic toiletry bottles worldwide. At Enactus Laurier, we're building a better normal that's more sustainable and inclusive through Earthsides. But that's just a start. While we have the honor of being our team's spokespeople today, there are another 167 dedicated Enactus Laurier leaders who poured their hearts into our enterprises this year. Here's how they're working to build a better normal. At Mighty Hawks, a better normal means an accessible one-on-one -on -one entrepreneurship and financial literacy education for adults of diverse abilities, unlike any other program in the region, enabling 112 talented individuals to pursue their creative ambitions. At Pollination, a better normal means incorporating the pollinator habitat crisis into seven elementary schools, empowering 850 students to be the leaders of tomorrow. And this year, we started a new enterprise because we realized that while stopping the creation of new plastic solves the root cause of the problem, there are currently still 300 million tons of plastic waste added to our environment every year. At Last 20, a better normal means upcycling plastic into pavement. We're replacing a portion of bitumen, one of the common binding agents in traditional pavement, with low-density polyethylene, one of the hardest plastics to recycle. We've generated $20,000 in grants and are planning to work with the City of Waterloo to upcycle 5 million plastic bags to build roads to a better normal. Today, the world is on pause. We have an opportunity, now more than ever before, to think about the kind of world that we want to live in. As a global community, Enactus students from around the world are working to build a better normal every day because we believe that our generation collectively can and will solve today's greatest challenges. At Enactus Laurier, we're building a better normal where everyone has equal opportunity to pursue their lifelong goals. We're building a better normal for our planet where we don't pollute our oceans, land and air. Just to package a package of product that's meant to keep us clean. We all get to choose what this new normal is going to look like. So what does a better normal look like to you. Thank you.